What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Inshana One, and we have a new elusive target. This is called the Stowaway. This is a target that I previously never got the chance to actually do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the briefing, and then we will get into a new elusive target. Good evening, 47. The target is Jimmy Chen, a cynical tabloid journalist who will literally kill for a good story. A failed actor who became an internet sensation, the target has made a name for himself in online journalism by creating fake stories and sensational headlines. When taking on a pharmaceutical conglomerate, Chen obtained evidence that the company was withholding damaging data on an antidepressant. Instead of going public, Chen sat on the material for a year until a sudden wave of suicides gave him the sales hook he needed. Our client's sister jumped in front of a train, and they hold Chen accountable. We have intercepted information suggesting Jimmy Chen is currently researching a secret society for a U.S. tabloid magazine. Good luck, 47. All right, so with that being said, uh, as I do with most of my missions, I like to go in uh, at the normal starting location, and we're going to do this suit only. The only extra thing, the, the two extra things that we're going to go in with is what we did in the previous uh, contract, which is the uh, Seeker 1. We're going to use this, and that is how we're going to be able to get our target to go where we need to. Doing this mission suit only is very, very tough because of where the location that he is kind of inside. Since he is inside and he's around a lot of people, you can't just go right up to him with a suit. You have to get him to come outside of that area. And the best way that I found to do it is to be a little stealthy and uh, get him to... Um, he was the bathroom, if uh, you get that Hitman 1 reference. But I thought we'd do this in the clown suit to make it even more ridiculous. And we're going to go in the lockpick because it's going to make getting through a little bit easier. This is something everybody should have at this point, having the lockpick uh, to go inside. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a fiber wire or drown. You could do either one. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy. And of course, it's go time. Welcome to the Isle of Scale 47. The target has been spotted near the Keep Gallery. Dressed as a waiter, look for anyone who's acting out of character, and remember to collect Chen's voice recorder. Since we are going to the gallery, I find that this infiltration method is the best way from the starting location to get to there while still remaining suit only. There is one distraction we are going to need to make, and there is one extra guard that we need to take out. We cannot get into that area to shoot this guy unless we take out this guy. Now, you can distract him and get him out of the area, but he will just go right back to it, and then you'll have to do another distraction. So it's kind of like two and three distractions in order just to be able to get through there. So you might as well just go ahead and take him out as it doesn't hurt you to take him out. Throw the coin at the corner of the barrels. Wait for the guy to talk. Would someone go see what the funk that was? Got it. If you did everything right, it should all happen just like that. Grab this brick. It's like everything's been placed for us, you know? Get on this side. Trust me, it's more it's better if you get on this side. Open the door. Throw it right there. And just wait. Our target is going to be directly inside there. But we have to set things up first. Do not leave the body just right here. But definitely pick up the weapon. And we're going to move it to this area over here. This will make sure that no other guards see him. All right, so it's actually better just to wait here. Go ahead and get yourself ready. Just sit here and wait. Uh, you can also go to the other side. There's no way you can get inside here and have enough time before the main target of the story mission in this level comes through this door. You can see you're starting to come now, as you can see. Not enough time to do what we need to do. Our target is literally right there. You can see him snapping pictures. That's how you know he's the target. 
Now, this is a very tough shot to pull off. And he's on the move. Got him? And we're just waiting for him to move this way. Now, you need to be patient. See these two guards coming that way as well? Don't do anything yet. Make sure the coast is clear. Target eliminated. Well done, Fraser. Don't forget to pick up the horse. can go down that way here's the problem we don't have a coin we don't have anything that actual pick up to to do this right so what we're going to want to do is go back this way Till him to turn around. I'm in no rush. This is the point where it gets very, very nervous for me because I've never been able to do it past this point, which is why you see me taking my time here. If I were to rush here, make a mistake, anything can happen, and then I cannot, I don't have, I don't do any of those hacks. This is a one-time show for me. I've never been the guy that does the uh, the hacks that actually goes around and um, deletes things in their files or whatever so that they can do it over and over and over and over again. That's not me. I like to do things. Once you kill that target, once you take that target down, you've got to you got to be on your game at this point. And if we mess up, we mess up. So I'm going to take a moment here and see what these guys are doing. Clearly right there would have been a perfect time to go. As you can see, there is plenty of room right there. Or plenty of time to move. Now, they're probably going to talk. Okay, he didn't. Sweet. All right. Now I know that as soon as that guy goes that way, and then this guy goes back the other way, I should be okay. Patience is a virtue. I don't do these for, you know, fast ways to complete missions and speed runs. go ladies and gents we have completed it didn't want to take any risks in the end so i was so nervous because once you complete that mission or once you complete the kill no going back at that point all right there we go obviously i'm going to be at the bottom of the leaderboard clearly because I took my time. Six minutes, 37 seconds, nothing too quick, but we were able to get the job done and we did it silent assassin suit only. I feel great about that. Obviously I could have done it a little bit faster. 
um, but you just can't practice it until you do it, unless you do the cheat way and, you know, mess with your files on your PC or whatever. I don't know what they do. I've never looked it up, and I don't care to. If I mess up in the end after I take out the target, that's on me, and I don't want um, anything like... I, I just want it to be... I want that added challenge, you know what I mean? You got supposedly one time to do this elusive target once you kill the target. And I, I really get that sense of feeling like of accomplishment when you can when you kill him and then at that moment you're like, oh my god, okay, I've never done this before now. I've got to make sure I get back in one piece. Now, if we would have picked up another distractible item like a um like a screwdriver uh, or something then we could have used that to distract the two inside the kitchen and then we could have made it through that way but we didn't so therefore we had to go the long way around which we were still able to figure out and do hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again thank you guys so much uh for being just the greatest community in the world uh don't forget to leave a like become a member it really supports the channel and makes it to where i can continue to bring these types of videos at the highest of quality but hopefully you all enjoyed Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Join us on our Discord to talk about Hitman, all the other games that are coming out in the near future, and just be a part of a bigger community. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.